Welcome to Kolb's Experiential Learning Cycle. Together let's explore a model that reflects how we learn from experience. At Wentworth Institute of Technology, experiential learning is central to our educational philosophy. Wentworth's core purpose and mission is to empower, inspire, and innovate through experiential learning. Experiential learning is at the heart of epic learning, and Wentworth's vision is to become nationally recognized as the University of Choice for Epic Learning. David Kolb said learning is the process where knowledge is created through the transformation of experience. Kolb's experiential learning theory is a process by which knowledge and experience are gathered and transformed into learning that results in behavior change and action. So this is a great cycle for Wentworth to use to make sense of our learning through experience. Kolb describes six characteristics of experiential learning. The first is that learning is a process. The second is that all learning is relearning. The third is that learning requires the resolution of conflict or tensions and that this conflict drives the learning process. The fourth is that learning is a holistic process and it involves the whole person, thinking, feeling, perceiving, and behaving. Also how we problem solve. The fifth is that learning results from how we interact with our environment. And the sixth is that learning is the process of creating knowledge. So let's take a look at Kolb cycle. Kolb described a learning process as a four-phase cycle in which the learner first does something concrete or has a specific experience that provides a basis. The second thing is that the learner looks at this experience and observes and reflects on it in their own response to it. Third, these observations are then assimilated into a conceptual framework or related to other concepts in the learner's past experience and knowledge, and that this helps the learner to derive some implications for action. And fourth, these implications for action are tested and applied in different situations. So the logic of the learning cycle is to make many small and incremental improvements and that you want to make this a habit so that you have a cycle of continuous improvement. So we mentioned some tensions. Let's look at the first one. It's between concrete experience and abstract conceptualization. So this is how we grasp experience or how we think about things. The tension between feeling and thinking. The second is between reflective observation and active experimentation. And this is how we transform our experience. So the tension between watching and doing. Experiential learning is the process of constructing knowledge that involves tension among all four of these learning modes. And it's responsive to the demands of the environment that we're in. So think of this process as a spiral where you're touching all of these bases, experiencing, reflecting, thinking, and acting in response to the situation that you're in. So what might an example or two look like? A generic example would be learning how to drive a car. So the experience might be that you get your learner's permit and you attend driver's ed classes. As you reflect on that experience, you can think about how these classes and the information that you're learning compare to the experience that you have as a passenger and watching other drivers on the road. As you conceptualize this, you can compare those observations against what you learned in driving school as what are the rules of the road and what are the normal conventions. You can test this out as you start to actually get behind the wheel and practice driving 
with an instructor or family members and apply those rules and get comfortable. And you do this through trial and error with feedback. So that's one example. Think of an example that you have. An architecture example might be if you built a computer model based on symmetry and you subject that model to quake-like forces and record the problems. You could reflect on that by discussing how the damaged buildings could have been saved. You can integrate information that you receive in a lecture to look at the relationship between the concepts of building symmetry and resistance to earthquakes. And then in order to test that, you could analyze case studies of buildings which were destroyed versus ones that, that survived earthquakes and apply those symmetry concepts. So that's an architecture example. So I encourage you to take a moment and think of an experience that you've had and map it around Kolb's experiential learning cycle. I also invite you to view another video on Kolb learning styles. In this separate video, we'll explore the unique ways that people spiral through Kolb's cycle through four different learning styles.